All right, that's good to know because I will just be wearing a sheath because I still have 30 <laughs> pounds it. of baby weight to lose, and, girl. And, and I, Don't nobody want to see this? Oh, <laughs> Well, guess what? Um, Cover-ups are also in. We didn't get to that part. I'm, I'm oh, she here. left after that. I, I don't have to take this. And you don't. And you don't. That's right. She said, I'm tired of this. This is the 13th time he's done this. No, she's, we're just kidding. <laughs> she needs hazard pay, January. Right. She needs hazard pay. An investigation tonight involving students at Hudson High School and a gaming app allegedly full of hate and homophobia. Now, the game itself isn't the problem. It's the students' comments while playing that are causing the controversy. Racist and homophobic. We're going to have a look at the Browns schedule and the late night games. Am I stepping on you? I think you're supposed to read this, but I'm going to finish. Go and the for late it. night it's games that you. are going to leave a lot of us <laughs> sleepy at work. Sorry, Dave. Plus, I'll blame it on being new to the morning show, all right? Plus, Al got me all discombobulated. I'm sweating underneath my collar here. <laughs> Plus, Ellen is calling it quits. Oh. However, the governors, they're not implementing mask mandates, safety restrictions, all that stuff that we remember when cases were high last year. What is the reason for that? Do you think they're worried about the political cost of that? And I thought because I wore this very light linen sheer kind of shirt that I would be cool. Uh-uh, it is a thousand degrees out here. But guess what? Bash on the Bay is back, and that's all that matters, right? As you mentioned, COVID shut it down last year. This year, as you can see, people are rocking, they're partying. This lady's been drinking probably since this morning. And violence leading the Asian American Pacific Islander community to speak out. It was just last month that Cleveland's first baseman, Yu Chang, went public with hate he received over an error in the team's loss to the White Sox. Lena Lai, she's going to dive into this issue. Heat. And by the way, uh, Matt Standridge, I believe, is only $20 million lower than that uh, figure that uh, <laughs> you mentioned there. Nice, <laughs> Matt, and this is definitely a $20 million forecast for someone like me who likes warm weather. Yes. Just my opinion. Anyway, just in time for Mother's Day, the website Moms Deserves More. You can go ahead, prompter. I'm sorry. It looks like a typical flower store, but the prices will shock you. Reveal to be fine there in stable condition right now. Meantime, there's still working to identify the deceased victims of the crash and they said they won't reveal their identities until all of their families have been notified and that could come as early as tomorrow morning now coming up at six we're gonna is on. Uh, you're, are you too young for that <laughs> I love it. you're too young for that matt i just nodded my matt, head like everybody I knew it. is 17 years old today isn't that nice all right thank you matt standards we'll see you in a little bit <laughs> well we can't escape the fourth of july right without at least one incident of fireworks gone wrong it happens every year y'all here here it is. This massive fireworks display exploded on the beachfront in Ocean City, Maryland today. You can see it. It sent people on the beach. They were running for cover. Look at them getting out. The boy on the bike was like, I'm out. January that she was a bad actress. I guess I haven't seen anything since those vampire movies. Yeah. Um, oh, is, she, is, is she good now? Did she become a good actress? No, she didn't. No. Okay. Why is she getting rave reviews then, do you think? I have no idea. Man, that's a tough one. Now, again, airlines are not legally obligated to help you out with hotel expenses or a rental car or to even put you on a flight with a different airline if they no longer have any flights available for you. That truly is a moral thing for them. They can morally help you out under certain uh, circumstances, but they don't have to legally help you out. Now, Spirit released a statement saying in part, now, if you'd like to volunteer to read with the kids at Charles Dickens Elementary, please do there's still time go to our website wkyc.com and search dickens reads betsy i don't know a kid that doesn't like story time absolutely it's they just such a great time to connect with those little kids and who doesn't love creepy halloween fingers i mean i've never seen anything like that i thought how genius and it helps them read at the point to the words yeah that's <laughs> awesome now educational service center is holding two q and a zoom sessions for those of you interested in becoming a substitute teacher one is tonight at six i know we didn't give you a lot of notice it's probably about five minutes away but one is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m i put the links on our website w KYC.com. Oh, hello weekends. That is my jam. I love Cedar Point during Halloween. But then have again, you, I'm a scare buff. Have you gone scare. there? Uh, oh, absolutely. You have January. They jump out at you. They scream at you. It's like being in a huge <laughs> haunted house, except it's also fun. Yeah. And you don't, you know, want to pee your pants. Sorry. Well. Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Last month, this photo became famous. U.S. hammer thrower Gwen Berry had just qualified for the Olympics in Eugene, Oregon. And while the anthem was playing, her back was turned. Ahmad Hicks, with our sister station in St. Louis, talked to her about her decision and how it was received. 
Now, let's go overseas this morning where there is new guidance on the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine in Great Britain. Moving forward, British authorities are now recommending the AstraZeneca shot not be given to adults under 30 because of more evidence the vaccine may be linked to rare blood clots. Tomatoes killed 64 people in Kentucky this weekend, and they're still searching for more than 100. Ohio crews, they're now there down there to help. Ohio's Task Force One began health with wide area searches in Graves County by nine this morning. Graves. And it's a member of the popular band, the OJs, but now the search is on for his killer. January Keaton explains. Little more than a skull in the snow and a vertebrae and some teeth in a garbage bag were found behind a Twinsburg business back in February of 1982. Stored in the medical examiner's office for 39 years, we now know those remains belong to Frank Frankie Little Jr. Skull just sitting in the snow. Once the police were there, they were able to find those. Uh, there were some additional garbage bags that were about 50 feet or so away from where the skull was found. In the 1960s, Frankie played guitar and wrote songs for Cleveland R&B band The OJs, who gave us 70s-era billboard-topping hits like Backstabbers, Love Train, and I Love Music. I love IDing Little took years, the painstaking result of gumshoe detective work and research from National Genealogical Center DNA Doe Project able to get DNA from his teeth and a femur. The brother, um, who was the next of kin that was so far we have, did say he has a son in the Cleveland area. Little, born in 1943, was raised in Cleveland, served in the Army for two years with a deployment to Vietnam. He went on to join the OJs sometime in the 60s, but died before the group reached success in the early 70s. We reached out to uh, Walter Williams and he was able to confirm that he was a guitarist and songwriter for the band. But Little's musical contributions live on. The question now is, what happened to Frankie Little Jr.? Who killed him? And will we ever know all these decades later? He was last known, I believe he resided in the area of like East 105th and Superior. He was right here. Now, Frank had a daughter who passed away in 2012, but his brother told police that he also has a son, but his brother doesn't know the son's name. And not much is known about Frankie's death other than he likely died from a head wound. Now, his brother did allude to police that he might have been involved in some sort of criminal activity. So Twinsburg police, they're working this homicide like it's new. So if you have any information about the murder, I know it's 39 years old. But if you have any information or knowledge of the lifestyle of Frankie Little Jr. in the mid to late 1970s, you're asked to call Twinsburg police. Man, this is a mystery. Mm -hmm. It is a fascinating mystery. Mm -hmm. that, and this year, it will be observed in a new, but at the same time, now familiar way. January Keaton reports. It literally means head of the year. Rosh Hashanah is, by biblical definition, also a day of shouting or blasting. And 2021 is year two that the high holiday is being celebrated during the pandemic. It's our new year. Jewish New Year is a chance to renew our souls. But this year, COVID-19 guidelines are a bit different than last year. Temples only offered virtual services at the height of COVID. We held our services in the parking lot, put a 9 by 16 screen outside. We had speakers like you would find at a high school field. This year, several local synagogues are offering in-person service, like Cleveland's Temple Israel Nur Tamid, one of only three non-Orthodox temples allowing folks to worship in-house. We made the decision after consultation with medical professionals, with researchers, that it would be okay for some people to be in the building wearing a mask. We've made arrangements to have air filter systems in here. They also offer outdoor teleservice. Because it's better to be outside and have all the fresh air. Or congregants can log on to virtual services by internet from the comforts of home. Participate through Facebook Live or YouTube. In order to celebrate one of the holiest days of the year in a way that meets everyone's comfort level. And I think that religion is important in people's lives. And to be able to deliver that in a, in a manner that people are comfortable with is amazing. Holding the health and safety of congregants as high as the holiday itself. And Rosh Hashanah ends at sundown tomorrow, leading up to Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, which begins next Wednesday, Russ. Okay, January Keaton in the newsroom. Thank you. Yeah. Playhouse Square announced today that any... People came out for the final rides on the Wicked Twister.
If you've never ridden the Wicked Twister, it's one of those rides that might make you lose your lunch, but that can only mean it's a lot of fun. It'll soon thrill riders, though, for the last time. Really? Oh we were going to ride it. Yeah, we talked we about it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was one of my favorite. The spiraling, twisting, twirling roller coaster with its two tall yellow towers horseshoed together pulls you, pushes you, twists you, and turns you backwards and forwards. Well, oh, it's scary. Man, it, it is scary, especially <laughs> when it takes you back and... <laughs> Lie forward yeah. again. It's, it's a great one, yeah. yeah. Despite the rave reviews from riders, the reason for the close, the roller coaster hasn't been a fan favorite for years, with lines getting shorter and shorter each summer. Michaela Lawry is 30 weeks pregnant. No roller coasters for her. And I wish I could ride it before it closes. So I would like to ride it one last time. No word on what will be put in the Wicked Twister's place, but the plot of land it sits on is prime real estate, located right by the beach. The last day to enjoy the Wicked Twister is September 6th. January Keaton, 3 News.